Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Legil. So, we have a vote. I collected 325 votes, I think, and 100 of which went to Legil. The next one, uh, this the runner-up, had 200, I believe. So, we're back with Legil, which was the first Mountain Blade campaign I did here on YouTube and uh, yeah it was quite a long one and as I think I said back then as well that if I was going to go back it would be either because a new faction was released which hasn't been the case and that the uh, the nation I would play as if that was not the case would be obviously England so we're gonna play as the British let's go ahead and go ahead, go right into it and start a new character. The year is 1809 and the Corsican born Napoleon Bonaparte sits on the throne of the French Empire. Napoleon reigns as the ruler of France. Uh, reign as the ruler of France has been a period of almost perpetual war with, with uh, some other nations. Na with some nations and other and indeed France now find itself engulfed by bitter fighting in the Iberian Peninsula which hasn't been added yet uh, recognizing an opportunity to reclaim land and the site of its lost in previous war. Austria uh, thought it has sent no official declaration of war launches armies at French allies in Bavaria, Italy and Poland. With Napoleon in Paris, command of the French forces in Bavaria has fallen on the shoulders of Marshal Berthier, Napoleon's chief of staff. Meanwhile, an alliance of Spain, Portugal and Britain tries to desperately to check France advance into Portugal and southern Spain. Uh, I think the... the... Uh, the what? Yes. I'm not sure if I should do, to go ahead and do it. Did I? Mail. Yes. Um, the character I had in mind is sort of a middle class character that that will at some point go into the army. It would be nice if they had the... What's it called? What's their mod called? The... It's called Freelancer. No. It's called mercenary something is it freelancer anyways the one where you can actually join an army that would have been nice but then because then I could have done like a a, a like a sharp story he starts off and then he sort of rises through the rank of an army until he can sort of commands his own uh, but that's not the case because that mod has not been added to this so I think we will go for sort of um, um, I don't think I bought a commission in the other one, so we'll we'll explore a bit more maybe of civilian life and trading and stuff before we actually go ahead and buy a commission. Um, so we start off as a, a middle class. He's a he's a shopkeeper, or is a, his father was a shopkeeper. Um, he was studying to become or a shop's assistant. Assistant. Um, each, each university military student and engineer rake about town. Um, probably a, a university student, but I feel as though he dropped out just to help out with his father's uh, shop. So we're looking at a, a sort of a trader start, but then, of course, if he wants to rise within society, he might feel the need to join the army, which is. And then, why did he leave? Because he had uh, possibly wanderlust, maybe lust for mon wanderlust, and uh, become an adventurer, write your destiny. And allow me to quit without saving. Um, so what do we have? We have pathfinding, which I guess a student needs. We have a bit of Riding, we have wound treatment and surgery, engineering, persuasion, leadership, and trade. The thing is, 
I'll probably go in and actually edit this so I can move the the points around myself to sort of set up what kind of character um, I want to have for starts here. But I think since he's a trader, he'll probably need which one is trade? Trade is charisma, so we'll need a little bit more of that. But ob ob he's we're gonna need strength, so and. Uh, a little bit of weapon mastery to start off with and uh, what else might be needed we have riding a bit of ath athletics um, and then obviously we're gonna take quite a beating and then power strike it's probably good uh, what else tactics not really a thing for Inventory management is trader. He's gonna need that. Uh, engineering, uh, persuasion. Since he's a trade, it's man of trade. And then I've already gone ahead and chosen a name for him, which is uh, Charles. I don't think I've named a character Charles. I hope I haven't. I don't think I have. And then uh, he's called R Charles Edrington. That sounds English, doesn't it? So Charles Edrington. And then most likely it's maybe dabbled a bit in pistol. Charles Edrington. Then I'll go ahead and make his face. I'll do that off camera. And then we'll go ahead and duel that man that insults my honor or indeed I insult his honor but you get the point okay so there we have him Charles Edrington let's go ahead and uh, finish this off and join London capital of United Kingdom your coach ended London across the dirty covered Kensington High Street the side of the road was lined mostly with gardens and country houses until you hit the bussy market section of Pall Mall. From Pall Mall you travelled through Chasing Cross, no, Charing Cross, into Whitehall. The east side of Whitehall was lined with governmental buildings, but the west side was mostly shops and run-down housing. You felt a little uneasy uh, as you passed the notorious crime-ridden Scotland Yard, known by all as a meeting place of thieves. You are exhausted by the time you find an inn in London. London, England. Like this, I guess maybe there's another London uh, somewhere. And you stumble sleepingly towards the stairs of the bedroom floor. You pass by the bar and bump into a man. He's drunk, well dressed, and was about to put another drink, uh, put back another drink before you spill it all over him. You spilled my drink, you rat! What have you to say for yourself? I'd say I spare you further embarrassment, you tosspot. You blackguard, you rat, you dog. You'll pay for this, you will, and I'll guarantee that. I'll have satisfaction, by God I will. Find yourself a second and meet me outside town tomorrow morning. My second will retrieve you shortly after dawn. Remember, he'll be under orders to pop you if he sees the authorities. A black, uh, a man in a black coat who've been standing in the shadows watching the events unfold step forwards uh, to you and offers his, his service as a second. You had little choice but to accept, introduce himself as Fielding, and sa said he could provide the necessary weapons. You went to your room, this time without running, ruining any drinks, and attempted to sleep. 
nervous about the morning, however. Kept you awake for most of the night. Shortly after the door, Fielding and the other man second arrived and took you to the meeting place. Fielding. Your opponent has left it up to you to choose the manner of the duel. Pistols or swords? Pistol it is. Very well. Pistol it is. Stand your ground and hold your fire until given command. If no one is hit, we'll reload and try again. Remember to keep steady hand. Oh! The, the bastard shot! I am allowed to return fire. Okay, there we go. Right. So, guess I wasn't uh, quick enough. Aim. Let's see. Fire! Seems I missed for a second time. First time he fired when I wasn't even ready. It seems satisfaction has not been met. I spilled a drink. We've already fired two bullets at each other. This is madness. Give up now, you rapscallion! Fire! I seem to have severely wounded a man. Is he dead? I suppose that's the last fervorous duel. He'll be fighting the fool. I must congratulate you on your victory. Perhaps you should get some rest now. You've earned it. I bloody well kill that man. Victorious in the duel, return to your to your inn and attempt to get some rest, putting the whole unfortunate matter behind you. When you awoke a few hours later, the duel seemed a distant memory and you had nearly pushed it from your mind when a knock came suddenly on your door. <laughs> I like how he spins around like, like a Bond villain. Ah. Mr. Edrington, I've been expecting you. Greetings, I've trusted... I trust you're well rested. Well, you come barging in here like... Yes, I slept fine, thank you. Even though I murdered a man yesterday. Oh, I don't know if he's dead. I hope he's dead, because I don't want... Maybe. Uh, no. Mm, maybe. Hope he's not dead. But uh, I hit him pretty darn well, so he might just be. That's good to hear. You'll need your strength in a place like this. In a place like this, you'll be need a lot of strength being in London. It's, it's one hell of a town. Anyways, I didn't come here to small talk. No, I'm here to come clean with you. Ah, you're homosexual. I always knew it. I, I wasn't merely a tavern drunk that uh, nobly offered his service. Through... through f Truthfully, I am a customs inspector. Well, I have no contraband. Wait, what? And you help me in duel? And you're supposed to be part of... Okay. And I've been following the man you duel for weeks. He's involved with a group of violent smugglers who have been trying... is uh, That we've been trying to track down for months. I've been intending to arrest him, but when you bumped him, uh, bumped into him, I figured his death in a duel would accomplish the same thing, only without the paperwork. Ah, clever man, clever man. Mm, no paperwork. What's your meaning telling me all of this? I don't like the fact that I go around in a shirt. Well, I guess, I guess, I um. I guess I took it off my I took my jacket off during the duel and I guess since I'm just he comes barging in here when I've been sleeping that I haven't put it on yet but when I bumped into the man um bumped into the man going upstairs I I I don't think I was traveling around the English countryside in just a shirt well you've proven yourself a useful sort and we need all the all the good men we can have now it's dangerous work, but it'll put a little coin in your pocket. I certainly need a little coin in pocket. Danger, money, presumably women. Where do I sign up? Ha ha ha. Now that's what I like to hear. 
Anyways, our main impediment to eradicating these smugglers is our present difficulty to in uncovering the location of their hiding place. None of my runners have successful been successful in tracking them, and none uh, who've none we've captured have talked. There may be some luck in store for us yet, though. We've recently no noticed a new greenhorn running with the group. If we're fortunate, he'll still be soft, and we'll be able to work the location out of him. He and a few other smugglers are presently working as duffers on the road outside town, imposing uh, false contraband upon gullible bumpkins at inflated prices. If you can capture him and dispatch his companion, will his companions? We may be able to extract from him the information we need. Gather some local men if you have to, and look for them on the road around town. I'll be waiting for your report. Why send me? Aren't you and your men better suited for this? They've as many spies as we do, and they'll know us as we know them. They won't recognize you though. You'll be able to get by their lookouts without them bolting. Good luck. And try not to get killed, will you? So there I am. There's the duffers. And here is a gang of deserters. British veteran grenadiers. Well, we'll head into town first. And we'll take a look what kind of weapons I have. Fancy cannon barrel pistol so I've got a little traveling pistol with me I d oh I have wait I have a book the book of five rings five rings isn't that the what isn't that the um, Miyamoto Musashi's book about uh, something and then I got some smoked fish some fishy ships that I picked up here in London um, how much for that? 400, okay. But I would like some form of uh, melee weapon. So I could trash the bandits. Clearly, I do not have enough money for that. I could sell the book, but I'd probably be better off reading it first. Right, there's basically nothing I could... Maybe I can have this. Ooh. Look like a spy, do I? No. Sturdy farmer's hat. I look like one of the bumpkins. Or just a pipe. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Well, I think uh, with only four of them. The thing though, I only have that little pistol. And I can't, I can't box them, can I? So we need something to, to fight them with. But kind of cheap, so we'll take this hunting knife. It's a shame if I were to uh, fail as as badly as I did when I did this uh, the last time or the last time I played this. But uh, no, I, I have I have confidence in my abilities. Say, you'll act like a sly one. I've got top quality goods. You can't get in stores. Um, I've no interest in your worn out, in worn out shopkeepers. If you surrender your weapons and tell me the location of your den, I'll let you, uh, I'll let the lot of you live. <laughs> Let's see how well you can bully with a knife in your gullet. And I charge them. Let's see how this goes. Some skillful play here. I've got my little pistol. And the bastards. I guess they got a, a head start on the road or something. Let's see. It's quite the knife I've got. I guess you might need that to, uh, to skin a moose. What exactly are these? 
rapscallions, these bastards, these duffers, selling strange contraptions and Chinese knockoffs. Oh, that's what an aim, what an aim. I think I scared one of them a little bit. I'm I'm firing just as well as I did in the duel. The coming on tight here, forming a thick group. That should be in quite easy. Oh. He is just as uh just as skilled at firing as me. Oh. Can't block with a knife. I would love to have your pistol, sir. Oh. Sidestep. I've already read a bit about Ninja Man. Come on then. Have at you. Ho oh. ho. It seems that I am victorious. Blood all over my face. Don't kill me, sir. I swear, I, I ain't so bad. I just fell in with a bad lot. I'll do whatever you want. Whatever I want, you say? Mm, yes. I'll spare your life, but in exchange, I want information. You had better start telling me where the smuggler pals, where your smuggler pals are hiding out. Better make the information good too. We won't, bo we won't be releasing you until we found the spot. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll tell you where, where the hideout is. I'll even show you. Haha! <laughs> look at this. I've got a jacket, and. Some pants that are actually worth. Oh wait, which ones? The sa no, not the sailor pants. I'm no sailor. I'm not sure which one. I think I like this one better. And then maybe we should have a hatchet instead of the knife. No, the knife is better, but it looks it looks a bit strange having that big old knife there. Cartridges. Carry 50 cartridges. That would be crazy. Let's go back into town and sell this. And then we'll talk with... Uh, talk with our new friend. About... Um, what we have seen. There is fielding. Well, look at that. Um, a crazy midget. Actually, it's not that much. He looks like a midget when I look from. Hello there, fielding. My spies have reported reported on your success. Excellent work. I'd say you earned a few coins. Fifteen franc. Wow, you're really not. Well, I sold the stuff, so I guess. I guess I get the, the, the fact that I get to keep that is a good thing. Now that we know those ba where those bastards are hiding, I'll gather my officers and runners together for an attack. Let me know when you're ready to join us, and don't bother bother me until then. Hurry though, they'll surely notice some of the men are missing before long. Okay, so we'll prepare. How much money do I have? I'll need to set up. I would like a better pistol, but I can't afford it. I could buy a sergeant's epee here, so I at least have a sword instead with me to help in the fighting. And then, I do think I need a hat. Do we have a fa some sort of fancy hat? I have 60, 66 coins. 
We got some fancy hats here, but I think the farmer's hat will do fine. To start off with, bandana. <coughs> rubbish. S sturdy, loose rubbish trousers. Maybe I could dress as a woman. Anyways, I think, yeah, that will be the start here. Let's go to, not to City Hall. Oh, it was really bright in here. Let's go about town for a bit. I don't think I ever was, was in London that much. When, um, when I played as the French. Which is uh, understandable. Looks a bit like a bit Amish with a hat. Th this building is definitely not as impressive as the one they have in Paris. But it is something. And there we got the guy recruiting for regiment. Or recruiting for the army. And then we got a tailor and a woman selling broom. No, oh, she's actually selling muskets. I thought she was selling brooms. Hello there, good sir. Good day, sir. What can you tell me about London? This is the town of London, England, sir. Our town and the surrounding lands belong to King George the Third of United Kingdom. We don't produce much here these days. If you would like to learn more, you can speak with our guildmaster. He's nearby. He's nearby. Right over there. Oh, but. How about life? Times are hard, sir, but we count our blessing. What about trade? I work a loom spinning cloth from wool. Wool is some of the cheapest cloth you can buy, but it'll still keep you warm. You don't really look like a man that would... What's the latest rumors about town? They say that Jean Andrew Junot also came to blow with another lord lately. Because the man made a joke about his nose! <laughs> Damned froggies, I say! Froggies and their nose, right. <laughs> Having a good laugh in old London. Mm, yes, mm, quite. Mm, very good. Right. Um, you know what? I think we'll end it here for the first one. But hopefully you enjoy this, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!